The Indian car bazaar is growing rapidly. It is the fastest growing auto industry in the entire world and the third biggest car market. Itni action ho rahi hai ki sabko cover karne ke liye Auto Expo kam par gayi thi and that's why we have a new mobility show happening in Pragati Maidan here in Delhi. So that's the Bharat Mobility Global uh, Expo 2024 is the first edition and there's been participation from all major automakers across the world. So many new launches, so many new products and we are here to pick up top 10 out of them for you. products that are going to excite you the most i am shivam parasha you watching park plus your car app do subscribe to our channel do hit the bell icon to stay notified and do head to the app for all the updates in the indian car bazaar let's get started and pick our top 10 First and the most dhamaki dar debut of the Mobility Expo is the all new Tata Curve. Now this is going to rival the likes of the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Maruti Suzuki, Grand Vitara and the likes and the first compact SUV with a coupe like roof line. Quite an interesting concept. Bahut time se iski testing ho rahi hai and we have been hearing news and here are the details. Based on the Tata Nexon facelift's design language, the Tata Curve gets similar bold styling of front boasting angular character lines on its chin. You see same full length light bar incorporating the DRLs, LED headlights tucked in below on the bumper and bold piano black grille along with air dam. That said, its in profile the upcoming curve looks distinct courtesy the tapering coupe roof line that also extends its length beyond 4 meters at 4308 mm and it gets new 18 inch alloy wheels as well. At the rear, the same coupe roof line falls neatly onto the 422 liters boot, and you see similar elements like these beautiful connected tail lights, stretched curve bezel, and nice contrast with cladding finished in piano black. On the inside, the cabin looks quite similar to the Nexon in terms of design and features. Same flat bottom steering wheel with packed it logo and multi-screen setup. Expect features like a 12.3-inch touchscreen featuring wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Tata Arcade operating system with preloaded multimedia apps, 10.25-inch digital instrument panel with navigation view, wireless charging, ventilated and powered seats, panoramic sunroof, JBL audio system, and Level 2 ADAS features among others. The model on display is powered by a 1.5-liter diesel engine belting out 113 brake horsepower and 260 newton meters of peak torque, offered with a six-speed manual transmission. While a turbo petrol and an electric version will follow suit as well. Next up is the Tata Altros Racer, which will surely remind you of Tata GTP cars, doesn't it? Looks quite sexy, and I love the body color: piano black and orange dual tone body color you have here, and lovely sporty decals, quite sporty uh, exterior this has, and same thing reflects on the inside. Black and orange color scheme you have. and kafi acche aur sporty details like the new alloy wheels let's take you through all the details well yes the updates are mere cosmetic but they definitely jazz up the way the altros looks cabin features a combination of body color and white highlights on the seats and dash along with a new 10.25 inch touchscreen featuring wireless apple carplay and android auto jbl speakers and auto climate control among others And my third pick again is from Tata Motors Pavilion, and that is the Harrier Dot EV. You can see right here behind me now. Even this is a production ready version. मतलब जो production car होगी वो इससे काफी मिलती जुलती होने वाली है. And this again is based on the Acti Dot EV architecture, which the Punch Dot EV debuted. Let's take a look at all the details. The Tata Harrier Dot EV looks exactly similar to the diesel Harrier Albite with EV specific design cues. like an enclosed grill aero alloy wheels and dot ev badge on the doors the cabin too looks the same and will likely boast majority of the common features and then some the tata harrier dot ev will also be an all wheel drive car featuring two electric motors one mounted on each axle and likely will be sold in two iterations standard and long range with the long range version delivering over 500 kilometers on a full charge This right here is Skoda's new Enyaq 4 which has been undergoing testing for quite a lot time in India and this is Skoda's first ever electric vehicle going on sale in India most likely this year itself the Skoda Enyaq based on Volkswagen Group's MEB platform and has a clean range of 513 km that is as per WLTP cycle let's have a look at all the details The Skoda Enyaq is a sister unit to the Volkswagen ID.4 EV and will rival the likes of the Hyundai Ioniq 5, Kia EV6 and Volvo XC40 Recharge among others. The cabin is draped in premium soft touch upholstery and the Skoda Enyaq 4 boasts superior fit and finish both on the outside and inside. It is likely to be sold as a completely built unit or fully imported model in India 
and expect features like a bigger 12-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, digital cockpit instrument panel, cooled and heated front seats, dual-zone climate control, rear sun blinds and panoramic sunroof among others. Then we have the BE05 RAL E, off-road concept from Mahindra looking quite menacing at the stand. Based on the standard, the RAL E will be the crossover version of the Coupe SUV. It will sport shorter and more aggressive bumpers, prominent wheel arches and a roof carrier. Furthermore, the RAL E will be fitted with chunkier tires and will be offered in funky colors. And then as this 8 crore 89 lakh rupees Lamborghini, the reveal dog goes from 0 to 100 in just 2.5 seconds and has a top speed of 325 km per hour. Here are all the details. The Lamborghini Revolto rivals the likes of the Ferrari SF90 featuring a 6.5-litre naturally aspirated V12 engine coupled with three electric motors. The engine alone churns out 814 brake horsepower and 725 Nm of peak torque and in combination belts out a whopping 1001 brake horsepower, mate it to an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox that sends power to all the four wheels. Well, after supercar, it's time for a performance EV, the Porsche Taycan 4S. And this one is actually a bit special. You see the minus 30 degree to plus 30 degree livery right there? Well, that's the story. Take a look at the details. Well, the reason is simple. As the name suggests, this particular Porsche Taycan 4S has done a run from minus 30 degrees to 30 degrees, saying a lot about its performance in freezing atmosphere. It features a 79.2 kWh battery pack and a dual motor setup, belting out around 435 brake horsepower and 640 Nm. With all wheel drive setup, Porsche Taycan 4S can do 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 4 seconds and has a top speed of 250 km per hour. And then is the electric version of our all-time favorite SUV, the G-Class. This is the Mercedes-Benz EQC, the electric G-Class. And boy, even this looks quite stunning. Like quite the thing going on the grill there. Take a look at all the details. The electric Mercedes-Benz EQC will be based on the modified version of the standard G-Class, steel ladder frame chassis. The V8 petrol is replaced by a 100 kWh battery pack, employing more energy-dense and efficient cells derived from the range-maximizing Vision EQXX concept. With four motors, one for each wheel, the EQZ is likely to have a power output of around 500 brake horsepower and this setup will also enable tank turns, a mode that turns the front and rear wheels in opposite direction to help the SUV turn fully on the spot. Range remains unknown, but the EQZ is expected to have the capability to fast charge at up to 200 kW. And then we have the Maruti Suzuki EVX, Maruti's first EV. We saw this at the Auto Expo and this delivers a range of up to 500 km when it will go in production. Let's take a look at all the details. Expected to be priced between Rs 20 lakh and 24 lakh, Maruti Suzuki EVX will be a 60 kWh battery pack paired with an electric motor. The company claims that the electric SUV will have a range of 550 km on a single full charge. And then we have a very interesting battery swapping technology introduced by Honda e-technology right here. So this is a two-wheeler ke liye battery swapping technology hai and again works in a very simple process. You see this electric two-wheeler right here. Now this comes without the cost of the battery, yes. So you can imagine 50% cost of battery, ki hoti hai, how affordable this will be when this will be commercially launched. Now it still comes with battery though. Under the seat, you have two battery packs right here, but the company doesn't charge you for that. How it works is that you can swap those batteries with these two batteries and you will be paying only for the cost of the charge you have spent. So let's say if you are returning those two batteries with just 50% charge on them, the company is going to charge you for the remaining 50% charge and is going to give you a completely charged battery right from these charging stations. Now, works on a very simple technology. You have an app, you have a key, uh, sorry, you have a keychain. Thank you. Like this, all you need to do is to go touch the sensor here and the gentleman will show you the process. He'll take out the batteries and you can see there are two empty slots right there. That goes in. Now the machine will see key charge usme kitni bachi hai. It will detect and will charge you only for the battery that you have consumed. And here you go. You have two ba other batteries which are completely charged. You can take them out and 
put it back in your electric scooter. Quite affordable and quite a frugal concept. And it's done. The good part is that the entire process will take you barely 30 to 40 seconds. Yes, just within a minute, you can swap the battery and get going. Well, this new process intends to save the time on electric scooters. Just scan the key and take out your old batteries, place it in the empty slot and it will give you two fully charged batteries and will charge just for the battery consumed. Moreover, the entire process can be done in just 30 seconds. So if you have to cover a longer distance and you have just 50% battery for example remaining in your scooter you can swap them and carry on with your journey. How do you like the concept? Let us know in the comments below and keep following Parkways Yokara for all the updates in the Indian Car Bazaar.